Not a moment's peace. knew a man who cleaned all the rats in London. He took his time. They loved him, and he loved them. They lived freely. They came to see him for a scrub. Rats have a certain freedom, but they feed on shit. It's a coward's freedom. A Valhall for the vanquished.
Sounds coming from that old church. Someone there. to the one true king of briars. Strange. I'm not the one true king of briars, yet here I sit. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! Jolin is ours, Kerr! What do you hear some begging? Through your bones, you witless pillar! Witless, godless, useless. God, let this one escape! No one defiles this sacred throne that goes unpunished! Take ya! Joland is ours, Curse! You have to do everything yourself! 
yourself! Fall, <sighs> stupid, was you? Can't win, Reaver! Fools in the thrall of an absent king. Pitiful.
God won't let us lose. Watch my lead. Betrayed us all, Indira. Now we crawl about for the scraps. Whatever crumbs you leave behind after your raids. You wish you were a raider, a dringer. Yes. Farewell, Sword Cloven.
grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Hytham, I have the codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah, wonderful. We have so little writing from the original Hidden Ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the Codex pages you found. Speak with him if you are curious to see it. I have to go. Then go in peace. Good to see you. Reda, Hytham says you have an old piece of writing from the early Hidden Ones. Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one Hidden One to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. A very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic, so it may not mean much to you, but you're free to have a look. Ivo! Best to Ganga! A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and without the Empire of Augustus. Called the Magus Codex, it names you directly as one of the founders of apart from putting your life in danger. It flies in the face of what we have tried to achieve with our brotherhood. We are justice seekers who shun the light of praise for our good works. ...and who must live in the shadows of our triumphs. Should you see any pages of this Codex... ...I advise you... ...to destroy them. Keep the dream of our Hidden Ones alive. Now, oh, I am not so naive to think this will be a simple task. Few men and women are suited to keeping such secrets for so long. And it may be that we will fail in the end... ...but we will have failed in the name of righteousness. Take care, my love. My Iset. My Northern Star. Even in my waning years, I am ever your Osiris. Let our Horus live on beyond us. I think of you often, my jewel. At sunrise and twilight. At new moon and full. When the rain falls and the breath of a moon rides across my neck. I remember you kissing me. Just there, and I will take that feeling to my tomb. Salutations! What do you have today?
Have you got a contract for me? My agents are not meant to undertake these tasks. But you... You are more perilous. Beasts are much like bandits. They do not care for the law of the land. And they smell. You're used to killing, yes? This one shouldn't be a problem. I do it myself, but someone's got to stand around here and look busy. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. should make the area safer for a time.
Show me what lies ahead. Shall we be deemed worthy? May we meet again at Ragnarok. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. What do you have today? Everything we sell has been time-tested, ready approved. I'm off. Be well, friend. Goodbye for now. Good day, my love. <clears throat> I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I have heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. <coughs> Thank you for treating Hytham. With respect and kindness, Eivor. He has found a family among your clan. He is more than welcome here. As are you.
Evil. Got some new things in. May I see us? Nothing more today. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. All done. What have you... Do you... I'll see you later. Until next time. I've charted new maps. I would like to... This was a fun one to chart. It's on your map now. Done for now? May I... Good day to you. Good. What have you got for me to... I'm practically giving it away. Is that everything? 
Until next time, Eivor. <gasps> I have something. I'd pay well for this. Good. This will help the settlement. I could really use this. Done for now. I would like to... Nothing else? I'm... Until next time. like to reorganize the crew. Done? All right.
Avon, Avon! Man your oars. Can't raise the sail here. Is there a sea skull among you? Sail! I was so a Dane in Gautland, Boyle bear me for his... I came to England too late. That is the problem. The, the last ship I spent any good time on was my father's. Quite a lot happened on that ship. Quite a lot. My sea legs are returning to me, but there is a shadow yet in the waves that stifles my joy. On our voyage from Norway, Thor's temper flared. The rain was relentless, and his fury struck the mast. Hard and fast, the waves roiled and tossed the ship. Save it for later. Monk up there! Look, one of the rich temples. Where well, you had the good part yet. Hard and fast, the waves roiled and tossed the ship. Trigvi hollered above the wind, trying to reel in the hysteria. Father, on the other hand, I had never seen him so calm. I grabbed onto him for an order. But he just looked at me and said, if our fate is death, there is no worry. Sail Just to say, if our fate is to live, Let the sail out. there is no worry. Stay the course. I thought him mad at the time, but he was right. Those meant to survive did. There was no fighting fate. We'll pick up from there, man. I would have loved to pick up. Enemy forces stationed there. All right, back to the story. No, I would have loved to see it. There was a tale of the man I was to crown. I know a crazed man about my age called Roker. We had taken to call it. Did I tell you about the time I pretended to be a goat? Drop the I am in. no stranger to the company of us. Hush now. Where were you? I am no. Hold on, good stealth. All right. Back to the story. I am no stranger to the company. Up. You want Boss, the story? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Here's a tale to tickle your sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men Boss, of Bar clan, one of which was a poet named. I will tell you this. No one is bored. I have seen the shores of Frankia now. Yeah. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned, or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I love oh, these. The we'll continue yeah. later. The good part, yes. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a More bargaining ritual yeah. for the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. Hold on, good skill. Here, Eivor! Take this the mask down! Where were you? 
So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. The when the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around the fire, I was sullen. My sacrifice had not been heeded, yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed six fine deer. Lower them all! Scotty, here's only those who speak to her. Raise them up! We'll share a tale. They the crew that brought me to these rain-soaked shores. You all know the name. Of that I am certain. He and my father Ronvald had some disagreements. But my father was never one to bow his head and keep silent. Hjotve's men came for him when I was out hunting. I was not there to defend him. And then when my brother Gurim also fell, I, like a coward, fled to England. I swore that in time I would return to avenge my father's death. But I waited too long. Upon my return from Francia, I heard the news. Kjotve the Cruel is long dead. Slain by the hand of Eivor. The wolf is dead. I am glad my father's killer is dead. But gods, I wish I had been there to swing the axe myself. Trolls curse creature. Well fought. Yeah. <laughs> 
signs of battle. Hard fought on both sides. <laughs> The battle climbed into the hills. name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Circle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Ah! <laughs> 
Just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? I'll live, but my men. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. Halfdan Regnason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? ...to find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new Lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one Lord of Northumbria. You heard the Jarl. Take the gear and start digging. He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river.
This land bears steep affliction. better. <laughs> I need your eyes, my friend. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Hey! I'll cut that nagging too! Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? How this works? Fix a problem or two for a... There's good coin to be made taking this target down. There is money in finding missing people. Off you go. Thank you for taking the contract. Redda will be happy to hear it. are a sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. Hey! 
Heroes are plenty. Warriors so many, but most walk about with heads that are empty. Hey, you! My eyes and soul do not deceive me. You are the wolf kissed, are you not? Come, come! Greetings, Bart. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, Bart. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are Bart stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Let me find a fuller purse someday, and perhaps I shall return. The world weeps at its loss. Hey, you! My eyes and soul do not deceive me. You are the wolf kissed, are you not? Come, come! The way is blocked! Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Halfton needs me now. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Wika, Halfton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? We crushed them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. Only a fool makes a long war in winter. Warriors! You can swing an axe. Can you lift a horn? Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. My luck over spills like the ocean's tide. Only fate will keep me from winning. Then come and see. What fate do these dice hold for you? Interesting.
this will do. Interesting. on me, will you? This will do. does not bode well. How did you do that? This will do. What's wrong with you? What's the meaning of this?
As Thor swallowed the oceans, I can lift many horns and drain them too. A bold claim! I'll drink to that! Care to test the speed of your fists? Fair warning, Cheryl. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most right. I'll kill you! well, warrior, but here your legend ends, bound to no name.
Yandag. Have a look, Sunan. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Haftar's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Haftan Regnason. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the Carls and Chaels of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Faravid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Haftan Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty! Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work, fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. But 
tale as old as the world. I've put off Hafton for too long. I chopped the Tower of Stone, he said. Rest from rattling skulls. Rattle these bones instead, eh? Show you a wonder. All this we conquered this, he and I. Together! You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has called you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravit. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if... Faravid has been disloyal, then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> On Earth is treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. 
I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man, Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find. Then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. This area is off limits. <laughs> Regret the choices that led you here in the afterlife. Thank you. 
Go, soon.
Odin bless you, Raven Bearer. My sincere thanks, friend. Survey the area sooner. That must that must be fair of its camp ahead. Dirty. Must be yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard. I am not a dog. Yet here you are. <laughs> are you free now? Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. 
The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Ferevet. This whelp needs scalding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery. Plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with hearths of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hofton didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Ferevit. I'm here to fight pigs. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastri. More mead, fewer. Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Run forward! Faster! Faster!
Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. Oh. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Show me. Let's see what lies in store. serve some purpose.
made in good and godly places. I should be home filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, <laughs> boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. The pig spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenweyer! They spotted us! Run, run! forward! Faster! Faster! Ulfr! Ulfr! Glory for Ulfr! Raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. They got away. Let us regroup at Stenweyer. We need to plan our next move. The Picts don't raid often during winter. The Picts will be on guard. Have a care. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Sunan, guide me. I should be cautious around here. 
Reward us! Ergas, a cack.
Have you come to join your fault? On the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ulfur, that's Hafton share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That stark seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. He won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. There are no secrets in this world or the next. The Old Father sees everything. We need not fear Odin's eye, only Hafton's wrath. I must return to Donacaster for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Wolds. Share shrinks up to each victory, like his cock, eh? <laughs> Hafton will be waiting for his gift in Donacaster. Do not keep him waiting.
our fathers down there, looking for treasure. He dove way down deep, but I can't see him anymore. That lake goes deep. Did you at least find the treasure? Yes. Take this bracelet, your father's sword. By rights, it's yours. Thank you, brave traveler. We knew you would find it. And what about the father? Did you find him? This lake must serve as your father's grave now, but with this last gift, his memory survives. You mean... he drowned? <laughs> Where's the rest of your family? Mother got sick, and never got better. And now she is under the ground. There is no one else. Rilda, remember? Father, sister, and Jorvik. Sell that trinket for food. Then travel to yond. Your father would wish that. <laughs> this world is hard, and the gods care not.
help me out here? Must be blocked from the other side. Hey! Can't do this alone! Easy now. Something's not right. But Huh? <laughs> 
He's shaking and sweating. I hope this stops now. Farewell. The trolls are waiting. Stretch your wings sooner. Go to the Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. 
Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a reeve. You, big and tall. What's your name? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan. Come here. Come closer. Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like to flight? I do. Well, listen. Here, these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking. They will only respect you for how much you're drinking. If you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. I'll buy you a round with my winnings. How's that? Ha! <laughs> I like this one! Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. For luck. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant! 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 Yes! Have another drink. Yes, yes! Here's the next one! You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a dame. Well, you're a thick skull and loathsome and lacking a brain. You're brilliant! You're the smartest person I've ever met. You hold your own. Let's have another! I'm a champion, a winner, I'll claim the top prize. You can break a proper ruse lies. That was the most incredible flighting I've heard in all my years. You are a wonder. I say the same of you, friend. Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all of England! A fishmonger can't sell people to fish. Where's our husband of yours? Out fishing again. So he says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear I cannot keep him around. Bah! You're better off without that wastrel. My husband should be back by now. The poor log worries me so. He fishes along Scarborough shore beneath the tower ruins, does he not? That's foolish. The cliffs are too steep. One who has need of their wits wanders wide. I might find good fishing below the Scarborough cliffs. There is a player in every port and city. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let's begin. All right, then. Let us begin. Yeah. 
Interesting. This will do. This will do. Not your day, friend. Not good. Not good. Do you like that? You blows from that house, stranger.
The gods favored your hand today. Shall we go again? I've had enough of this.
Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Heroes are plenty, warriors so many, but most walk about with heads that are... Hey! Greetings, Bart. Ah, 
Eivor of the Ravens. Have you changed your mind about... Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the Ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kissed. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the Ravens with the sun for eyes, and the river of blood enough to paint the skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to... <laughs> The only way to find out what to do is to ask Slow sips, Hafton. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You are stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Feravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Feravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabid wolf. Feravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist.
Sparavid has planned an attack on the pigs at Magnus. Without you. That twin-faced backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen. Unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. We're going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. about this land, my friend. letter came from Wiki. She must have gone there. I should go to Wiki, find Moira. I sometimes think Greta makes these up each morning just to keep us all busy. Come back any time, my friend! Let's go. Sail out! Strike of the June. Who'll share a tale? There was a woman called Nal who came by ship to Fornberg and heralded, demanding to meet King Sigvaldi, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When her message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat fjord singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. 
They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the Make chests the of silver in not... We'll pick up from there. <laughs> It's a small... It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. <laughs> Stretch your wings, Sunan. You heathen lover! Away from my house, you ruffians! You can't! What's this ruckus? Stand back, Jane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Jet, need to get on the other side. Go, before they burn your cottage to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It'll take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on, then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed. Killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. No. Leave this woman alone. Even look away again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite.
quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Show me. Each way there for me. We're off. Need to row our way out. Sing, my ravens. Let's hear a story. Run up to Can the I tell you about the time I pretended to be a goat? I am no... The last ship I spent Dang any good time on... Here. I have seen the shores of Frankia now. When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls, together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our Let parents sent us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy, Guthrod, suggested we steal a keg of mead, drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel, and Orsa snuck into the storeroom and stole a barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. What's wrong I stood with and you? said, the idea was mine. The meat is for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, that is not true. Then they moved on. Be my eyes soon. Good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Olaf! Speak to us! Where are you? Go, my eyes.
I need your eyes, my friend. <laughs> He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Be Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. The trail ends, but nobody's here. Here, a hidden entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Eivor, something is there. Hold on. We'll find a way through. Give me a hand! Give me a hand over here! Come here!
The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. ...by plotters and... ...schemers! What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. She also said she'd seen your... ...in her own family, said it came on slow, but was... ...incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow, someone is poisoning me! Shh. Listen! These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Easy now. Something's not right. Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles... Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it. 
killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrowhead killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the walls. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringa. Press him, Eivor! As hard as you can! Never let up! And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise! No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Farabit the rat. Words are poison. It...
Hail, warrior. You keep this estate? I do. I'm Gottfried Fairrobe, celebrated Gringer of the great heathen army, trusted Golden Helm of Ragnar Lothbrok. I intend a clean and honorable battle as my days grow old and rotten. I wish to keep myself dignified in my death rattle. Your upkeep is impressive. My war garments are unblemished, well-groomed and pristine. Ragnar taught me self-respect when we summoned here. A clean conscience, unblemished oaths, and immaculate loyalty are of higher value than any well-dusted piece of armor. A resonant thought. Now, will you oblige me? An honorable and clean battle is all I ask for now. May Odin visit us in this dance. Let us fight. Prepare your garb for a last drenching of raven wine. My battle irons are in prime condition. Ah! Then take this soul! Strength. Ah, immaculate strike! Such precision! Yeah. Ah. Ah. You're mine! My weapons are dulled and impure. I shall only use the sharp and aseptic. Only the purest. Survive, fool! Ah, uh, my wounds bleed clean. Thank you for this last song of well-wrought iron and immaculate blows. Go to your shining, flawless victory. Farewell, honorable Drenger.
Stench of rot in here. Stop. There's nowhere left to go. Please, don't hurt me. Why are you here alone? I remain with my family. The withering is taking them, but I do not wish to abandon them. The withering? A disease that often goes unnoticed until it is too late. The whole village had it. It destroys the mind and heightens aggression in an individual. And ultimately, the poor soul is rendered catatonic. Leave here, child. 
Your family will soon go, and this village has nothing for you. But... Papa! Mama! They will find peace in death. Live for them. They would want that. I... I... <laughs> You're right. I cannot hold on any longer to what is already lost. I will go. Here. A key, if you want to check on the sick yourself. If I'm to leave, I can't face them again. This town leaves behind the better legacy. But such is the way of this world. My head. It swims. A fairy. No! A demon. The stench. They've endured much, it seems. It will not save them. But at least it might ease their suffering. Hmm. A list of names. Ages. All killed by a plague. The Withering. Aid me, be my eyes. See you, old friend. Eivor! Welcome! Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it! Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfre, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfre. Poor Ulfre. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days. Now, too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. 
Come, race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in Jorvik. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Shh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I described my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with ale. Do you know what? I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. What if it happens the way it did last time? Ugh. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart.
Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants? Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves... You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Have a look, Sunan. I'll cost you more than bread. Things are better under Arden. Kjor, this crowd won't listen to reason. Give us your coin, you bloody robbers! You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please, after I brick your face to the brains! Shut up, man. 
Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? If... To be clear, Feravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halta know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold, and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhysia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared. And you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with... I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Haftan's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. It's better. 
Verowitz should be waiting at Stenwyja. Anomaly number seven, if I'm counting right. You are. Just a few more to go. Ten in total. Ten? Okay, I can do ten. Does the Animus give achievements for stuff like this? Sorry, does it what? Forget it.
murdered one. That one-eyed wretch. He has taken our son, imprisoned him for invented crimes, and locked him away. As he said he would, Lord. Do you not remember his threat? He should have been more careful. Have we no power to stop him? To save our son? No recourse? What can we say? And to whom? Must the world know about our children? Must your wife learn of us? Is that a risk you want to take? I must do something. You're getting good at these, Layla. I'm an engineer. These puzzles are child's play. Still, it's physical and mental. That can't be easy. That's true. I never had to swim through any fluid dynamics equations to solve them. Data. Here it comes.
Loki Rabbit, I call on you, nay, demand of you. Send me a home gang champion to test my might. I am waiting to fight your champion, Loki Rabbit. Send them forth to meet me in the square. Is this the champion you've conjured for the home gang, Loki Rabbit? Looks like a fine fighter to me. A warrior I am, but I have nothing to do with a rabbit. I... I've been ready. I am ready. Fists up! You're mine! Yeah! What did Loki Rabbit promise you, champion? Wealth? Fame? Honor? The rabbit said nothing. A lesson you should learn. This land bears steep affliction. Yeah. 
Good. The land breathes once more.
Crushed to death. An unlucky way to die. Doubt he felt much. A fishmonger can't sell weak old fish. Where's that husband of yours? Our oh, fishing again. So he says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear I cannot keep him around. Bah! You're better off without that wastrel. My husband should be back by now. The poor log worries me so. He fishes along Scarborough shore beneath the tower ruins, does he not? That's foolish. The cliffs are too steep. 
Are you the wife of the man who fishes below the cliff? My husband fishes there, yes, and I run the stall. Do you fancy some fine, fresh fish? I found your husband. And where is that fool? Drunk in some bed, working off a debt? Dead, I fear. Some bandits crushed him with a rock, hoping to fleece him. No! Why? That sweet fool, leaving me penniless. Here, take this ring. I found it on his body. It is rightfully yours. His mother's ring. That fool. That damned, soft, loving fool. Thank you, stranger. At least I have this. Mary, they said. Marriage has left me not but a poor widow. With nary a fish to sell. That lovesick fool. I warned him to stay away from the cliffs.
Good to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Lovina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. and join us. We'll stay home out of spite. better.
this plan. I feel uneasy. It will be a good fight. I have faith in it. Federit's plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Federit's army. Amor, over here. Today you may regain your glory. Think on that. We did wrong to follow Ulfr, and would make things right by following you this day. The battle is near. On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my arm. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days, as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. Gently, friend. I told Hafton because it was my duty. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> Oaken! Oh, my God. 
Cabanas! Extend the ladders! Charge! And may the Scots remember us! Bridge down. for the coward King Rishia. Not 
For Thor! For Ragnar! For Halfdan! Ah, oh, the sweet taste of victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Halfdan. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or caw like a crow. Sends more picked skulls to my hammer. That a fair favor. Damn the dart. to the north. You meet the spirits this day, traitor. <coughs> Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. 
I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? He was the hero in tales he told himself. The Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom.
ever witnessed. I am a wound that festers. <laughs> a scent that sticks in the sun. Trolls fear me. I am mind fucked. Once a dranger, now a drogger. A walking dead. Rotten within and without. Fuck! Greetings. Is this battlefield yours? This is the gutter of an unchained dranger. A lost dranger. That is what I am. I am vile. I should not be allowed to suck on clean air. A dranger kills honorably, with glory and pride. Were these men not innocent? Many of them were. Many were not. <laughs> Their blood is now mingled and it stinks of the iron of my blades. <laughs> what an end! <sighs> Beloved Ragnar Lothbrok. He always kept me in check. He steadied the ship of my hooger. Without him, I have lost my bearings. <laughs> I scare myself. Not a shred of decency remains. The dragon I was, I have lost him. Would you end this suffering? For me. You live with a great pain. One that cannot be eased by a Verkilt, nor a reckoning. Yes. You know my pain. And you look as though you could end it. <laughs> Do this then. A final kindness for an unworthy wretch. Lord Stringer, I will fight you and help you find what Ragnar gave you. Loki's children, take me one and all! <laughs> I'll stay in your welcome. Meet your god. Death to us both! No, no. 
against me. Nakfila, the fetid boy. Let this death be the only good I have done since my master's death. Odin welcomes all kinds, so long as they war louder and drink faster than the last man.
Survey the area, Sunan. Moira, is Hafton about? Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. <sighs> Think you can swell oh, with the bat? Come on, steady your balls. And ask her to shake asses with you. Well, I've never danced with anyone before. Ah, a thirsty foe? Drink it down faster. Show me what lies ahead. Rishie, I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. The fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Old friend. Long ago we stormed this sea of wagons under winter's blanket. 
You have stood at my side for many long years. Proudly, brother. Come. Let's share the balm of all torment, the soothing liquid of chaos. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Moira, how are things in Wike? I get by. There will always be those who dislike me, but how I handle their ire is up to me. So yes, things are mostly well. Save some meat for the rest of us, Ferevit. Ah, I have to thank you, Eivor, for your counsel, for your blade. All this would not be possible but for you. I have a new brother, much like Hafton. Not by blood, but through the battles we fought hand in hand. Through him I have learned that battle bonds run deeper than blades can cut. I'll never forget that lesson. The words of a poet. Now let us drown ourselves in mead. For friendship. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. She's your weapon, Ferovit. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. 
You used to be, old friend. End of our road. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my Jarl. So I will let you win. One last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I am leaving for Mercia, going home. Then go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans and a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him.
day, good day. I have completed the contract. Excellent work, my friend. You impress me more and more every day. Here is what you have earned. What do you have today? I have to go. See you soon. So long, Pet. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath, at last. Good. Very good. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you.
I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pichiringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moira. Pichiringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough. We need our glorious Hafton back, strong and sure. We need our glorious... Sunan, guide me. No glory, no hope. Nothing but snow, silent as a corpse in its grave. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me. It was no secret. Uba knew, did he not? Leave me. I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Ava. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there.
see. There is Beontan, guarding the hammer. What do you see, Suna? his hammer. Lighthouse, Hafton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Hafton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? Ivar murdered an innocent man. A good man. He earned the death I gave him. Hmm. If the codes of honor demanded his death, he did what had to be done. Feonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives. But he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. Thank you, friend. You are always welcome at my hall.
Hey there, how are you? 